Hi, my name is Rachel Buckway. I am going to be taking you through this video presentation of troubleshooting common Italica issues. This presentation is designed to assist in resolving these issues that occur with the Italica solution analyzers to help you bring them back up quicker so that um, you're able to process samples again. So the first issue we'll be troubleshooting is the robot arm error. This is where a sample is stuck in the gripper portion of the sample handler. And you'll have to manually remove it to continue processing patient samples. The second issue we will be discussing is the sample tip error that is com that commonly occurs with the IM module of the Italica. So the step one for resolving the robot arm error is um, stopping and pausing the sample handler unit, which is highlighted in the purple circle. So we want to stop the module and then we'll have to unlock the front or back covers of the module wherever the robot arm is closest to so you can grab the sample. This arrow indicates a manual way you can open the front cover. There's a little latch that is on the um, right where the arrow is that you can press down and open the front cover if for some reason it won't allow you to other ways. So this is on the inside of the sample handler. This is a close-up of the robot arm. This red arrow indicates where the gripper, gripper will be holding the sample that's stuck. And the green arrow is a black rib dial that is used to manually release the gripper from the tube. So you can just turn the dial and it will release the gripper. So you want to make sure you hold on to the sample that is stuck while turning the black dial so that the sample does not fall into the analyzer. Here's a close up of the dial. Um, to manually open it. It's hard to see with all that's going on, um, so I wanted to include this in the presentation. So one thing to note is that you do not have to retighten the gripper after taking out the tube. The analyzer will automatically adjust the gripper when you bring the analyzer back up. So moving on, after we or take out the um, sample, we're now able to resume the analyzer to continue processing. The analyzer will prompt you to confirm the CalQC storage area. This is to confirm that a technologist did not add or remove any of its contents. So you can just say um, that nothing was removed or added, and if they were, then we'll need to tell the anal analyzer what changes were made. So after doing that, we'll then need to open and close all of the sample drawers to reinitialize the sample handler. You should now be able to process samples. So now moving on to the sample tip tray error. Um, this is what is highlighted is the IM module of the Italica. The red arrow indicates where the sample tips are loaded. And this is where it often jams when it's loading on new tips to use. Um, the green arrow is where the tip tray waste and the cuvette um, is all located, all the waste products. So this is an area where you would want to check for jams first. A lot of times there will be an empty tip tray that is jammed on the inside of the tip tray loader that I cannot release into the waste. And that's indicated by this red arrow. That's where I often check first because it is likely culprit. So the drawer is located beneath the sample tip tray loading dock that was shown in the previous slide. This small red circle is a manual way to open the tip tray waste if for some reason the analyzer will not open it by other methods. The green circle is where used sample tips and cuvettes are disposed. When troubleshooting tip tray error jams, make sure to empty all of the waste bins and check for any additional obstructions. After emptying and 
checking for additional obstructions, you are now able to resume the analyzer and continue processing patient samples. So that's the conclusion of this presentation. I hope that it, you're able to resume processing patient samples quicker and more efficiently. If for some reason you're not able to locate the jam it, by these methods, definitely contact um, Siemens support and they will be able to assist you with further troubleshooting these issues. Thank you.